Barbie had actors lining up to play Ken's, but it didn't work out for everyone for a surprising reason. Who backed away from the part and why? It's likely not a huge surprise that when it was announced that Oscar-nominated writer-director Greta Gerwig was making a Barbie movie, actors across Hollywood wanted to get involved right away. Vanity Fair spoke to two of the movie's casting directors, Lucy Bevin and Alison Jones, to dig deeper into how the candy-coated, fiercely feminist film managed to score its star-studded lineup. As it turns out, we missed out on three potential Kens. Bowen Yang, Dan Levy, and Ben Platt all wanted to play Kens, but couldn't make it work due to COVID-19 restrictions in place during filming. What do I have to do? You have to go to the real world. While Barbie was in production, the entire cast had to commit to staying in London for the entirety of the shoot, due to strict COVID-19 protocols, and Yang, Levy, and Platt couldn't make the commitment for a variety of reasons. It's easy enough to guess why. Yang is a cast member on Saturday Night Live, Dan Levy just briefly worked on The Idol, and Platt is currently starring in Parade on Broadway as well as the new film Theatre Camp. Still, the casting directors said that those actors were quite upset that they couldn't make it work. Jones told Vanity Fair, they were, I'm not kidding, really bummed they couldn't do it. According to the Vanity Fair piece, Ken wasn't the only part in Barbie being fought over in Hollywood. Incredibly, the role of Alan, Ken's buddy who, in doll form, fits into all of Ken's same clothes, was a hot ticket as well. And at first, Jonathan Groff, known for projects like Mindhunter, Looking, and Frozen, really, really wanted to play the amorphous blob known as Alan. Unfortunately for Groff, he suffered the same fate as the others. Jones isn't specific about whether or not Groff was simply auditioning himself for the part or actually in talks further down the line. But she does say that, eventually, Groff reached out and said he couldn't make London work. The role of Alan ultimately went to Scott Pilgrim himself, Michael Sarah, and with all due respect to Groff, Sarah couldn't be more perfect than the role. Described by Vulture's Jen Chaney as, quote, a vibe if having no vibe counts as a vibe. Alan is just kind of there. Sarah, a master of quiet deadpan, completely nails the part. Humans, we're fine. And Alan. Mm. So, how did Bevan and Jones settle on the Kens and Barbies who ended up in the movie? When it came to the Kens, Bevan said, they were definitely really different, but they had to feel like a cohesive group. You wanted to cast people who were really going to get on and be great and enjoy it. Based on the end result, it seems like that's exactly what happened. Barbie is a film that, even in its most emotional moments, overflows with uninhibited joy. Unsurprisingly, Gerwig was also closely involved in casting. Bevan said she showed the casting directors old illustrations of classic Barbie and Ken dolls to narrow down a certain look, but the personality was still paramount. Bevan said she really wanted to get to know them as people. That was very important to her. On the key Barbie and Ken roles, she got a very good idea of what an actor was like from talking to them. Here's the good news. Marvel Simu Liu really, really wanted a part in the movie, and he ended up playing the main nemesis and eventual ally to Gosling's main Ken. I'll beat you off with you any day, Ken. Barbie is in theaters now.